like it through your local paper adverts in there said Scrap wants it. So me and a mate went down there, beat the shit out of him. <laughs> 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 Don't know why they bothered appetising, because they obviously weren't ready for us. <laughs> popped into a McDonald's. Same reason anyone pops into McDonald's. I needed the toilet. <laughs> so I get in there, there's this poor young bugger, he's mopping up the piss, he's trying to fix the broken toilet, moving the homeless people. <laughs> hey, and it's just thought, horrible job. And he's wearing one of those big old McDonald's coats, and it writes across the back in gold letters, he just said, I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Very fucking much doubt it. <laughs> so we got, we got the Sad. But also it's quite weird really that Woolworths has gone, but shops like Lidl and the Pound Shop are still here. Isn't that a bit wrong? I mean the Pound Shop, that's got to be at least two rungs below Woolworths in the hierarchy of shitty shops, right? But you know, how the tables have turned now, you can actually go into the pound shop and buy Woolworths. <laughs> <laughs> Slow burner. <laughs> also, um... <laughs> so, uh, as I say, I'm on the front cover of Beard.com if you want to see me. I actually brought the average age down to 40 when I joined this. I know you, if you ever get a chance to look, go home tonight and have a look. Um, everyone's about 60, they've got very long beards and moustaches, and they look like sort of rejects from Doctor Who. Uh, and I'm there, adding a much needed sense of glamour to the whole occasion. Oh yeah! Uh, thank you very much. I think it should be like that. I think, you know, if you think about beards through history, if you go to... I'm sorry? Sorry. If you say Star Trek, I, I take that as a compliment because I love Star Trek. Hands up if you like Star Trek. Hands up really if you like Star Trek. Come on! Who likes it? Yeah, there's, like, there's, a, there's a growing number of people here who like Star Trek and I'm not ashamed about that. I like all the flavours, all the sizes and I can't wait for the new movie. Who can wait? There's a new film coming out. I'm not yeah. Fantastic. Young Kirk. Young Spock. Is it going to be great? No? Yeah. Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies? What kind of fucking heck was that? Muppet I Babies? Know. I don't know. That's a bit weird, Bob. I wanted to say, are you related to John Luke Picard? Oh, because the bald head? Yeah. Or the great big cock? <laughs> the great big no. cock he put in your anus. <laughs> the only there was no one putting a cock in my anus, Bob, unless I say so. The only thing funny though, is Uranus. So. Yeah? That's space related. Uranus is space related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, are you, like, are you, are you suddenly like, like 13 and like a schoolboy? Yeah, I'm Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. No, um, I like Star Trek. And you got, you got with my subject anyway. I was talking about beers. Beers through history, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I was talking about Star Trek. Yeah! yeah. Star Trek! Yeah. Or the 
room's divided. The room's divided. Buy a show. Go. Ooh, ooh. If you want to hear about beers. Ooh. Go. Ooh. If you want to hear about Star Trek. Oh, I still can't tell. All right, I'll talk about. I'll, I'll include a beer Star Trek story. So I'll, I'll, I'll merge them together into some sort of strange story about beers and Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I what I think is great about beers and Star Trek is the way that all the really, really big alien characters always have beers, but the human characters don't. Because somehow they're propagating the fucking idea that beers in the future are not a good idea. Russell, you've got a beard. Are you a happy owner of a beard? Sometimes. Well, this is one of those times. I own a beard, but I'm Muslims not happy. Are very happy beard. In, in the Islamic faith, it shows submission to God to grow a beard. That's the actual point of it. I don't you all realise that. A big fist of beard, that's what, that's what it means. Uh, Steve! Stand up for a second. He's got a beard. Go on, Steve. Everyone, big round of applause for Steve. Steve's got a beard that a bird could nest and bring his eggs into. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. In the 1900s, right, the dandiest, youngest men around town. There is somewhere in the Oh, well, thanks. The dandiest younger men around town used to have great big bushy beards, and all the young ladies would be like, Wow, who's that guy? He's got a beard, right? So why isn't that like that now? Why aren't people growing these fabulous, virile mounds of hair from their face? Excuse me, Mr. Solomon, what's that on top of your head? Beard. Not a beard, no. Are you sure it's not a spare beard you're keeping on one so. side? So. No? Is it Velcro? Does it stick on? No, no. <laughs> Have you had a really bad operation and I shouldn't be talking about it? Because <laughs> it has a kind of like, operation chic, like, you know, little, little lobotomy sort of thing going on. No, that hasn't happened to you? No. No? no. It's, just, it's just a fashion thing. It's my own style. It is certainly your own style. <laughs> one hand for the own style Yay! in the room. Thank you. So, it's quite not, I'm not actually from London, I'm from like somewhere uh, uh, in the Midlands, Northampton. Has anyone been there before? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I have, but I need a wee. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> I'll let you go then. <laughs> you don't have to stay. But, um, I, I, it, so I get to travel about doing this and that sort of thing. And I went up to, um, I went up to the Edinburgh Festival like last last year. Has anyone been there? Yeah. Before yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But I, I travelled up on EasyJet, right? Um, like, uh, which is a budget airline, as they call it, isn't it? Two fucking words in the English language. I don't really want to see associated with each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? Budget and airline. <laughs> if I'm like, because to be perfectly honest, if, if I'm travelling in the air, I don't want to be like penny pinching and stuff like that. I don't want to be crash landing at 200 miles an hour in a fucking lake, reach under for my life jacket and pull out a fucking IOU. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, this is 